Hello, today I'm going to have a look at the product rule. The product rule we use when we differentiate two functions multiplied together. So in my example, I've got y equals 5x, that's one function, and my other function is y equals e to the x. And the product rule says if I've got my two functions, I get f of x g dash of x plus f dash of x g of x. I'm going to call my 5x f of x and my e of x I'm going to call g of x. So I've got f of x, I've got g of x, f of x equals 5x, g of x equals e to the x. Now I just need to differentiate them, I can say f dash of x equals 5 and g dash of x equals e to the x. Then, to work out my derivative, I need to do f of x times g dash of x. So I'm going to multiply my diagonals. That gives me 5x e to the x. And f dash of x times g of x. I'm going to multiply my diagonals this way, which gives me plus 5 e to the power x. So this was y, I've differentiated it, so I get dy by dx. With practice, you'll be able to say y equals 5x e to the power x, dy by dx equals, differentiate the first bit, leave the second bit, plus leave the first bit, differentiate the second bit. And you can see I get the same thing. So let's have a look at an exam question. This is from the calculus paper in 2012. The total number of visitors v in each week after t weeks may be modelled by the function v equals 20,000 t e to the power minus a third t. Use this model and calculus to find the value of t when dv by dt equals zero. So you can see we've got v, we're after dv by dt, so I'm going to have to differentiate it. And I have one function, I have my 20,000 t, and then my second function is e to the power minus a third t. So let's write this down. We get v equals 20,000 t e to the minus a third t. I'm going to call this bit my f of x. I'm going to call this bit my g of x. So I'm going to say... 20,000 t is my f of x, so my derivative of that is going to be 20,000. My g of x is equal to e to the minus a third t, so my derivative of that is going to be minus a third e to the mi minus a third t using the chain rule. So finally, to get my dv by dt, I multiply my diagonals. So that's going to give me minus 20,000 over 3 t e to the minus a third t plus, when well, I multiply my diagonals this way, I just get 20,000 e to the minus a third t. As you can see, I've got e to the minus a third t in both bits. I've also got 20,000 in both bits. So I might want to factorise that out. I might want to say this is equal to 20,000 e to the minus a third t. And my first bracket, I'm going to have just one from this side. I need to do 1 times 20,000 e to the minus a third t to get 20,000 e to the minus a third t. And on the other side, I'm going to say, what do I need to times this by? Well, this is going to be minus a third t, which looks a little bit neater. Then once you have that, it says use this model and calculus to find the value of t when dv by dt equals 0. So we're going to change our dv by dt to 0. And then I can divide by my 20,000 to start off with, 
which gives me e to the minus a third t, 1 minus a third t. And then, because I've got two things multiplied together, I've got this thing and this thing being multiplied together and getting zero, I know that either one of them must be zero. So I know that either e to the minus a third t must be zero, or 1 minus a third t must be zero. This one cannot be zero. e to the power will never be zero. So this must be the one where my dv by dt equals zero comes from. So I can get a third t equals 1. So I can find out that t is going to be equal 3. So we just need to remember, when I'm doing my product rule, I use it when I've got two functions multiplied together. I write out my functions, I write out their derivatives, and I multiply diagonally.